If they have a sage, just break the sage wall. Okay, so we'll stay here. I can stun. I can stun heaven. Let's go. It's stunning. Come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> what? Why are you in such a hurry? Let's go. It's stunning. Come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> if you had just thought maybe they're gonna rotate quickly if you just recognized hey wait killjoy's b you pushed that ropes guy instead what's the rush yeah and i think she was here so go no no in the 1v2 where killjoy turret is online on b site you just comped to your team that the killjoy's a side and they should hit b Oh, thank right. God they're ignoring your ass. <laughs> I fully agree. <laughs> Wait, bro is mad. Bro is mad. <laughs> His team perfectly avoids the killjoy, plans for heaven, <laughs> gets breach stun set up off contact. These guys are literally playing this 2v1 flawlessly right now. And Salcon is out here like, what the f are you guys doing right now? You guys, why are you hitting A? You ignored the pre-round. You're going to hit B. Why aren't you hitting B? Bro, bro, they're playing perfectly right now. Okay, they screwed that up. You gotta forgive them. They're platinum. They're platinum. He shouldn't have done that. He even apologized. You've got the most W team mates. And you're out here like, you piece of shit. I can't believe you. <laughs> Bro, you're so funny. Oh, no. No. Did you know only 420% of the people who watch my videos could actually receive free VOD reviews? Really? It's true! Even me! Absolutely! <laughs> wow! I'm going to join the Discord to learn how! Then show up to a VOD review stream to get some of that potassium wisdom! No scope right to my brain. And that's not all. I'm also offering free Valorant gift cards to anyone who makes yes. successful improvement based on my coaching. Made possible by the support of the Generous Knowers Guild on Discord. So what are you waiting for? Hit us up. And enjoy the video. Salgon 157. Usually the players with this many hours who are this low rated are characteristically lazy in their ranked games without recognizing it. That's my prediction. I would love for you to prove me wrong though. But you're proving me right because there's five seconds left in the pre-round and you're here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So, you know, it would have been nice if we could smoke after this kill, especially, or TP'd across if we had one, <laughs> or dropped flowers if we had our flash. Okay. I'm not sure about the standing top flowers with Frenzy holding a main play. I have not seen that one in any Omen split games. Okay. Shorty ropes. Where's it? Probably me. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. This is. This is a mistake I see lots of people make specifically in um, lower ranks. And very occasionally I'll see like one high rated player make this mistake. Okay, so you're going to buy shorty and your credits next round is going to say, wow, you closed out of this shop so fast. Anyways, it's going to say 4,700 now. Okay, 4,700 after you buy the shorty. Buy your abilities. You can, you have tons of money. Buy them. You don't have to use them. Buy the abilities because you might want to use them during this round. 
it's a non-zero chance that you somehow get into a position this round where you would win it if you just had paranoia. And if that scenario doesn't come, no problem. Don't use paranoia. And you have it next round. Your abilities save over into your next round, even when you die. So there is zero reason not to buy them, even on eco rounds, if you can afford them. Does that make sense? So just don't use them, but buy them because you might want to use them. Yeah, I guess. Ooh! Probably me. <laughs> me? Oh, oh, smoke mid, smoke mid. Yeah, I guess. Smoke! Spike planted. Oh, I'm so down for this. Your smoke is poorly placed, but otherwise I'm down. Guaranteed. I'm gonna pick for you. If I see them, you're just gonna flush and we're gonna kill them, okay? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I think it's safe. Wait, wait, how are you gonna peek deep A main from here? Are your breaches about to flash and peek? Don't you need to be elbow? Am I, am I the dumb one? Sorry? I'm the dumb one. Your breach waited. Look, Giga Chad. There's Sage. Good play, good play. Why? When are we throwing this flash? Under what conditions? I don't see any conditions. I would throw it if Raze was going to double satchel from ramp, maybe. But that doesn't make any sense right now. Ooh. Yeah, maybe. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to give this analogy to you in terms of bind because it's clearer on this map. There's two smokes that can be thrown on B. Bind, this one, and this one. When you are taking control of the site, this one is objectively better. Like, you don't know where they are. They could be anywhere. They could have one elbow, one back site. This smoke's way better. But when you have control of the site, this smoke is way better once you have control. When you smoke here, they can, like, cross when you have control and... It, it adds an extra variable to worry about. But of course, you don't want to smoke like this when you don't have control yet because they could they could already be elbow anyway. So you have to clear it either way. Similarly on split, sometimes you do want to smoke a main, but that's only when you already know that they're here. Consider this to be elbow. You only want to give them free passage to elbow if they're already elbow. So like if they've crossed ramps here and you don't want them to come out a main, then yeah, the smoke makes a lot of sense. But in this scenario, as far as I can tell, they're pretty much all back here. You've got the two people on this line and teammates coming up ramps here. If you smoke back here, you can all coordinate together. You can continue to hold your lines A main and these ramps guys can come over here to swing off of you and make a cross. But instead, you choose to smoke here, which allows the enemy team to cross for free and you give them ramp control. They didn't have it before and you gave it to them. So it's a really bad smoke. This smoke is really bad. You give them full control of ramp and now they're going to get to take straight duels with your uh, ramps player. As you're about to see almost surely on the mini map, this raise. That's a good flash, but you come and then there it is. There it is. Uh, you need to comment ahead of time to like let raise know about your intentions. And there's the exact kill that I predicted because of your smoke. Your smoke gave up control and pressured your raise into peaking and dying. It, it's a tough concept because smokes don't have any inherent up inherent upside for the thrower. So the only advantage you have as the smoker is you get to choose where they are. That's it. A smoke doesn't damage the enemy team. It doesn't heal the allied team. They're completely neutral abilities. They don't do anything that favors either side. They're totally neutral. Like this smoke at this point is no better for you than it is for somebody on this side of it. Okay. So that's what makes this ability so complicated. It's not as simple as a smoke here is always good. It's not. A smoke there can be good for either team, depending on what the scenario is, because the ability is neutral. Unlike, say, a Brimstone Ultimate, which does more damage to the enemy team than it does to you. Or a Phoenix Molly, which heals Phoenix, but damages the enemy team. Omen Smoke is a neutral ability, and in this scenario, I actually wouldn't put it beyond like the enemy Brimstone to want to throw this smoke for their own team, so that they could push ramps. So this smoke's really bad. It's like hours you need to put in. No, you need prep. You clearly have absolutely none. I don't know who you watch play Omen 
on this map. Do, 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 do. But like, you should watch this SOM split thought I did because I show both of these smokes in that analysis. And I talked about during the view when he throws which. And if you'd seen that analysis and you come into this game with that knowledge, you probably wouldn't have thrown the wrong one. It's not a more hours thing. You don't want to reinvent the wheel. You need to go learn the wheel. This is usually the advice I end up giving the players who are not yet diamond with over 300 hours. Most of you are just playing the game thinking you're going to gain ELO by clicking the queue up button. It's not necessarily true. It's not necessarily untrue. You will gain ELO by queuing up, but you can hit a wall or you'll gain ELO slower. I, I don't know what we're doing here. What? Why do we do that? Okay, fade is B main. What's that info do for us? <laughs> you didn't even share the info. That's messed up. Yeah, I'm real sorry. We continue to put both Breach and Omen on A. Dude, this hurts. Breach and Omen are the strong defensive holds. So recall the round where they pushed you and you and Breach coordinated to use Breach Flash to fight them. And that was sick. You remember the round I'm talking about? Where Breach was flowers, you were sight, and they came out and you stunned them and fought them. But do you re recall that round you went to like use your flash and you were like, oh wait, I don't need to use this. Breach has us covered. That's because you and Breach fill very similar roles on defense and you don't belong on the same site. Breach could be playing that setup with one of your duelists and then you can be B playing a similar setup with your paranoia with the other duelist. And now your hold is like 5 billion times stronger because you're splitting up two of the stronger defensive agents on the map. Let's like say your team has a certain amount of defensive power. You're over allocating defensive power towards your side of the map. Clean. Nice. Like the Omen have to be the ramps player there to get that kill. No, no, um, none of Omen's utility was necessary for that. That was all breach because breach is such a strong defensive agent. Well, okay, what the hell? Flash! You will you not flash? kill my ally. Salgon, if you're about to tell me that you expected Breach to flash that quickly, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Like, I can see a beginner making that mistake. I can't fathom what's going on in your mind. You expected Sage only. Perfect. It's still a terrible peak. Can you flash? Because Sage can be anywhere. She can be up here. She can be down here. She can be in the middle here. She can be up in the middle here. She can be over here or she could be down here. Terrible peak, even if it's just Sage, because you can only peek from ramps. Her crosshair has to be in one spot and it's on your head when you peek. Your crosshair has to be in six spots, which you can't do. Mystic Quartz, thank you for the prime. Sakura Kyoko, thank you for the prime. Way Bopis, thank you for the prime. This peak is no good. You gotta use your flash, even if you thought it was just Sage, because she's got off angle advantage. Good for us. It's B. It's B. So you're looking at your minimap right now because you got your knife out. And so you see the enemy fade die mid, nothing else. And then you just burn flash, but you also burn it specifically at ramen. Like to a degree that if they're out mid, they're not even blind. Like if they're right where that fade was, they're not blind. I probably would have jumped spot before throwing flash at all. I don't think they're mid. Man, a flash would be so convenient here. <laughs> These guys stuck out in the open. Nice. Nice shot. He gets away with it. He gets away with it. And then our two best players are going to go back to playing the same site together. I'm going to skip to offense. Defense, you look really unprepared. Like, I don't think you've studied Omen on this map. So I'm curious how you play attack. Well, let me see this pre-round because I've never seen that one. You're going to be smoking heaven? Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't mean you have to fully commit because my smoke reloads, so... Yeah, maybe we can go. Yeah, exactly. We go mid. Yeah, okay. But slow. Don't make a noise, please. Until we see. So one, like, until contact. All right, every controller player in chat sit up. You want to know how to win every single king offense round on split if you're below the rank of diamond? Yo, team, I'm going to smoke off mail and let's shift up mid and take ropes control. Once we get ropes control, two of us are going to drop in. If we see nothing, we just reset and we hit B. It, the, by the time you clear ropes and down here, this smoke will expire and you can just turn around 
and hit B. This is literally how teams attack in pro on this map still. Like this is the meta. This is, if you go watch M80 versus the guard split yesterday, this they'll see this more than 10 times. You smoke mail, take ropes control, and then you play it from there. Sometimes B, sometimes A. You take mid control with this mail smoke, okay? I, I've got no idea what this is. Who are, who are you studying on this map, Salgon? What Omen players are you watching? Who are you, where did you learn this from? This looks like you just made it up. If they have a sage, just break the sage wall. Let's go. <laughs> what? Why are you in such a hurry? Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> if you had just thought maybe they're gonna rotate quickly, if you just recognized, hey wait, Killjoy's B. You pushed that ropes guy instead. What's the rush? Yeah, and I think she was here. So go. No. No. In the 1v2 where Killjoy turret is online on B site, you just comped to your team that the Killjoy's A side and they should hit B? Oh, thank God they're ignoring your ass. <laughs> His team perfectly avoids the killjoy, plans for heaven, <laughs> gets breach stun set up off contact. These guys are literally playing this 2v1 flawlessly right now. And Salcon is out here like, what the f are you guys doing right now? You guys, why are you hitting A? You ignored the pre-round. You're going to hit B. Why aren't you hitting B? Bro, bro, they're playing perfectly right now. Okay, they screwed that up. You gotta forgive them. They're platinum. They're platinum. He shouldn't have done that. He even apologized. You've got the most W teammates. You have the most W teammates. This Phoenix makes a simple error that you'd easily forgive any platinum player for making, and he just calmed. I'm sorry, guys. Not my best game. W. And you're out here like you piece of shit. I can't believe you. <laughs> Bro, you're still typing. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> Bro, they went. They pushed with you. You just died. You died because you were wider to a ropes angle. The team was pushing mid. You were all pushing. You just happened around this corner first. And the guy was back here where they only see you. These poor guys can't see him. And they tried. They swung to try. They got slowed down. I believe it or not, this male guy who only saw them back here and they had to fight this and you couldn't. You scaled up. What are you doing? You're the toxic teammate. You're the problem. No wonder you're platinum. You're delusional. These guys are clean. Let's go mid. Let's go mid, guys. No shot. I'm about to check this pre-round, but there's no shot I skipped forward to see you guys death ball stacked B. And then with one second left in the pre-round, you just calmed let's go mid. And you adjusted your smoke over towards ropes. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let me see this. Okay, what are we doing now? I guarantee you. Three of these guys have muted you. You're literally talking to the void right now, and it's your fault. These guys all private message. They all did that. You know when you're in the lobby, and you open the match tab, and you invite to party? Your four teammates just did that. They spun up a party, and they're all party chatting right now about how much of a dick you are, and they're calling their own shit. And they're like, okay, we're, let's just follow whatever the omen's doing and do our own callouts here in party chat. Omen, now they're going to play classic. I can play different, yeah. 
I can I can give you my ghost. Okay, okay. Right there. Damn, what the his teammate's so W. This teammate is so W. Let's go mid. Let's go mid, guys. <laughs> what is this? Uh, just, let's go mid. Oh. Are you done by something? <laughs> no way, he's so right. Why do you have nothing? Why aren't you buying? No, this guy is super right. Why aren't you buying oh, right yeah. now? You won pistol. Why aren't you purchasing a weapon? You missed the numbers on the scoreboard. Yeah, you want to know why you missed that your teammates clutched up in one pistol round? Because you were too busy typing the toxic manifesto and hurting the entire ranked community. Stop doing this. Even if you are right and your teammates suck and they're toxic and they're all assholes, don't be this guy. Just mute them and then keep playing and giving good calls. Anyways, my prediction was correct. I generally called out most people who haven't hit diamond with 300 hours are quite lazy in their games. Their pre-rounds, they frequently start incorrectly. And you are no exception, Sir Salgon. Focus points. General, do, do I expect to see pre-round plan established? No less than 10 seconds left. Timer for next VOD. Please bring comprehensive notes on a pro playing the map you've submitted pro must be from post watch on each agent's list to peep my pro analysis videos for references of what i'm roughly looking for i will be expecting your gameplay to follow these notes very closely good luck salgon you got tough notes today we had a, a vod that got easy notes and you got tough notes but your notes will work. If you're committed to ranking up and you do that, you'll rank up.